So I'm just going to very quickly go through how to uh, work out the equation of your regression line. A um, couple of ways you could do it. So you'd need to input whatever data you have into your spreadsheet first. So just reminder, menu, and click on there for your spreadsheet. Let's go back to some data, I'll put in random data. Uh, remember to label your columns. So this would be depend upon uh, your question, whatever the uh, variables are they give you or the labels they are that they give you. You can put them in at the top here. And one way to do it is to, you can go back to... Uh, your home page and you can go to charts and then uh, whatever you need on the y-axis you can just click on that there whatever you need on the x-axis you can just click there and then it draws your um, scatter plot so you can see what it looks like uh, you can then analyze it surprisingly enough you got to analyze so menu analyze uh, regression uh, and then show linear because we're normally in this form y equals sort of mx plus c or plus b here uh, so you just click on that, so it draws the line for you, and also it gives you the equation of your regression line. So it gives you the uh, gradient here and the, uh, uh, the y-intercept. And that is it. Uh, there is another way, uh, with, which has some, perhaps some other more useful bits of data on it. So if you go to your spreadsheet, and this is the way we kind of normally done it, you click on a blank cell, you go to menu, you go to uh, statistics, you go to stat calculations, you go to linear regression, uh, you select whatever it is you want on your x-axis and whatever it is you want on your y-axis, leave the rest, and then hopefully this will match up. So here is our equation of straight line, something x plus b. So m, the coefficient of x is 1.04966. So let's just dash across to the home page and check that. Oh, disappeared. Who hiss? There we go. 1.0496. 1. Uh, so I'll go back in. Okay, so here it is. Back to here. And if we read through uh, some of these other values then, uh, which are useful, you don't need them particularly, but R is quite useful. So this shows um, how strong the correlation is. So we don't do uh, Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient at IGCSE level, but it is useful that you're aware the closer this is to one, uh, the more positive the uh, correlation is. And if it is closer to uh, zero, then there, you know, there is no correlation. So that, that can be useful for interpreting it. It's a bit above what you know we do at IGCSE level.